Hi folks, I'm Sean McCormick. Welcome to the channel. We're going to take a look at some of the features that are in Lightroom Classic 11.3. Just updated. Quick mention of bugs and a quick mention of some of the camera additions as well. Let's just dive straight in. So I'm going to grab an image here. I'm going to press D for develop. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to masking. I'm going to press M to get to masking as well. I'm going to go select subject. And this is to create a series of masks that shows these features. Create a new mask. That subject again, but this time I'm going to invert it so that we have a really obvious difference between the two masks because they're literally just going to flip. All right, so it used to be that you could use the alter option and arrow keys to move up or down, but you could only move up or down, you couldn't loop through. But now, if you hold down alter option and you just keep pressing downwards, it'll loop. If you keep pressing upwards, it'll loop, which is very, very handy. Uh, you can also now hold down the command or control key and click on a mask to deselect the mask, which is useful because sometimes you just don't want the mask to be selected. I, I love these features. Now, something that's a nice little change is if you go to the Lightroom Classic menu and select Preferences on Mac, or in the Edit menu, it's down the bottom on PC. So you're just looking for Preferences. You're looking at the General tab, and we notice here there's only a Reset All Warnings, but if we hold down the Alter Option key, we have a reset all preferences and relaunch option there. It's kind of funny that's in prompts, uh, but uh, it's still it's accessible there. So it just means that you don't have to do it on launch, which you said to do before, and then you have to relaunch at the same time. So you can do it from within the application itself, which is handy because um, it's the key thing. If you have an issue with Lightroom uh, at all, and something is doing something that you think is weird, your first option should be to resell preference. Now, it is a bit of a pain because you do lose uh, some of the good stuff that you, you need that you've set up but it can also fix a lot of issues as well. So it's the first thing you should do if you're having any kind of issues at all. So now what I'm gonna do is gonna come, come out of here, press G for grid. And we can see here that we have 268 images here. So I'm just gonna go uh, Command A to select all or Control A. We can see here that this immediately jumped and we can see that it's loaded all of the metadata very, very quickly. So metadata updating is much faster. It used to be really, really slow at populating these fields, but it's, it's gotten a whole lot faster. So that's a look at some of the features. There's also things like uh, bug fixes for Wacom so that you get better use out of Wacom. There is a bug apparently now with substrate.dll crashing when opening catalogs on Windows. Uh, lens additions uh, include stuff like the iPad Air. There's a Sigma 20 mil that's been added as well. So camera editions have the GH6 from Panasonic, the Canon R5C, the iPad Air, fifth generation, and the iPhone SE, third generation. I'm a, an iPhone SE user, so I might even consider that myself. So that's pretty much a look at what's going on. If you want to find out what's going on with other bugs and stuff like that, go to Adobe.com and you'll see them. Thanks for watching.